Hey YouTube, Test Jess one here. I uh, would like to welcome everyone back for 2019, the new year. <coughs> and I decided to um, do what I don't usually do and show my collection, my 1-6 figures. Um, at the moment, as displayed, I still don't have enough detoffs in my studio. I'm working on it, but I have got the boxes set up so I can show you the figures that I still have in the box. Uh, so I'll do that first up and then I'll go around my studio and show you my, my other one six figures that are on display. So okay and without wasting time let's okay. get into it. Rightio first up is my Harry Potter from Star Ace. Two figures from Damn Toys. I just like the artistic style of uh, these figures and um, just to w wanted to have a couple, maybe favourite characters from favourite movies or sports. Uh, so, yeah. Just a uh, unlicensed M&M figure. Fire scene. Um, I think it's fire scene and executive replicas and somebody else that's made this. Oh, yeah, the fantasy world of Erwin Allen. Um, lost in space figures. I do have a kit, a 1 6 scale accurate size uh, kit of uh, B9, I think it's called, the robot. Hot Toys Ray BB 8. I do have uh, Doctor Who number 4, Big Chief Studios. At the back there in the wooden case, I have a Charlie Chaplin. Behind that, um, a White <coughs> Horseman, a John Ruth, the Hangman, a Kurt Russell, another Kurt Russell, Scape in New York, Sideshow. This one's from 3 Zero. I have uh, the set of uh, so far of the Quantum Mechanics Master Series Star Trek figures. Uh, Captain Kirk and Spock and McCoy. I also have the captain's chair. Down here, the Mark 1 2.0 version, which is a slightly better than the first release, I reckon. Well, this was um, head sculpt. This was uh, given to me as a gift. Um, this is the <laughs> Monocule 8 John Lennon. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say much, too much about that. Uh, we have the, the I Am Dennis Rodman um, dress-up version. Mike Tyson, uh, heavyweight champ from Storm. Uh, thriller, Michael Jackson. It's a double set. Elvis Presley, 1968 comeback. Uh, Enter Bay. Also the Avatar, Jake Sully. So that's all I have so far. It's still in their box. I think I have one more. No. Yeah, that's it. Yep, that's pretty much it. And a couple of uh, unlicensed ones in the back here. Tom, uh, Tom Forrest and uh, there's a Book of Eli as well. There's my kit version at the back there. Move on. This was pretty cool. I got this from the actual artist, um, Ashley Woods. This is a 3A. Uh, Edo Mamba. This is the uh, Tomorrow Kings figure. Very cool. St I've still got it in the box at the moment. I just want to find a, a, a suitable detail to have both of these figures displayed. Okay, this is the Blind Cowboy Ghost Horse. I love this figure. It's probably one of my, if not my top. Uh, collectible. I totally love this guy. The uh, the amount of guns he carries under um, his, his poncho. He's got six on his belt, uh, one on his leg, and two on also, also on his saddle. So he's got nine guns in total that he carries, and, and his sculpted uh, ghost horse is just an amazing piece of art. <clears throat> so when I want to display it, it's going to be in a really good cabinet. Uh, I have my two lovely vampires. Uh, Vampirella uh, sitting on the uh, skulls here from Fire Scene. Uh, 
or TB League, whatever you want to say, what the company is. Um, this is the um, Pegatory, sorry, figure. The mind blank there. She is also gorgeous. I love having them on my desk. Um, they're my, my little seamless body beauties that I love. To of have. course, uh, a, a collection is not uh, complete without having the uh, DeLorean from Back to the Future with the um, McFly and the left there. Hopefully, they're going to make a dog. I would like to have the dog as well. Um, Einstein, I think the dog was called. Cool. Uh, right. This is my. <laughs> that's. That's that's a, that's him laughing down there. <laughs> He's, every time I make a noise, he, he laughs at me. Um, Jason from Sideshow, uh, Freddy, Sideshow, Three Zero, Michael Myers, and Three Zero Leatherface. This guy is a. It, what's the? It's from Dark Blood. Uh, it's the Jira. I love the Jira, he's just an amazing um, Harlequin style uh, spook. He used to be a, in a circus and a, as a ventriloquist, that's why he's got this puppet in the back there, but uh, now he's gone through some sort of sorcery thing and got a curse and carrying a curse, so that's why he's like he is now. Cool figure, very cool. Uh, Redmond Toys, Dracula. At the very back there, I have the beautiful Sill from 3-0. Now we're talking uh, Sideshow Silver Screen uh, horror figures from the from the olden days, if you will. I love these. They're, they're my uh, personal favourites. Uh, I'll, I'll never sell and always keep in my um, personal collection. Uh, the little guy on the head, he's not, yeah, he's not a 1-6, he's not a mini-me. Uh, he's, um, he's the Mezco uh, 112 scale Frankenstein. Just thought it was suitable to put him in the detox with these great guys. Uh, Dracula and uh, Frankenstein. Again, and I have two more. Love these guys. Classic horror, you can't beat it. Alright, uh, entering into the uh, Star Wars. Uh, the, I prefer to have the characters from the um, from the first movie. Um, leading into the second movie, I suppose you'd say, but um, just mainly the first. The only, um, I got uh, Darth Vader, C3PO and RTTT, that's the only sideshow pieces I have. The rest are hot toys. Egret, he is ginormous, I, I managed to pick him up, uh, I was the only bidder, luckily, uh, from an Australian, uh, and uh, picked him up really cheap, so I'm so glad to have this figure. He's so cool. Batman from Suicide Squad. Batman Joker. Catwoman. Again, the Suicide Squad team. I do have a couple of uh, sideshow pieces at the back there, which I intend to get out of this detail once I have enough detoffs to split them up a bit. Very cool. 66. Um, I suppose it's uh, the the, uh, the past Superman's. <laughs> uh, seen as Cavill's no longer uh, Man of Steel. And the beautiful training version Wonder Woman. Okay, Terminators. I suppose you'd say 2.0 versions in the uh, the first release. Judgment Day. The original Terminator. Shootout. Was, uh, 
Yep. And the, I suppose, it's just the, uh, I suppose you'd say uh, the Sarah Connor hunting version <laughs> of uh, Terminator. I've only got the one Predator at the moment. Uh, probably will pick up a couple more. But it's still um, depending on detox space and stuff like that. These are a couple of gamers. The left is from Hot Toys, the right is from Damn Collectibles. So Metal Gear Rising and uh, Black Flag. The Crow. Uh, another favourite of mine. I'll never get rid of it. Uh, this is um, the Hot Toys release and I, I have kitted it out myself by adding the shotgun and the pants and the jacket and the boots are not the original from Hot Toys. So I just uh, preferred to have it this way. Uh, it was better quality um, pleather I suppose you could say so that's why I've done it like I have. Bruce Lee Hot Toys Casual and the uh, it's Enter the Dragon action figure Enter Bay Wong Fei Hong and Ip Man uh, The umbrella has been added to the Wong Fei Hong so It's a functional umbrella Hong Buck, Tony Jar, really, really good movie. Guy was super fit, super flexible. Great martial arts fighting scenes. Right on the bottom shelf, I have the Jean Claude Van Damme at the back there, with uh, two more Donnie Yen characters. Uh, one from Star Wars and from uh, Monkey King. Game of Thrones, 3-0 figures, I have two more coming, Lord of the Rings, the one at the back is a ACI um, release, limited edition release, uh, the rest are from 3, no, from Asmus, sorry. The chain mail on Gimli has been um, put on by me because I didn't like the uh, the original chain mail that was on the figure. My beautiful uh, diecast mix uh, Vikings from Commodal. Uh, these are really good figures, top of the range, uh, well worth every cent that I paid for. Then we have the uh, ACO at the back there, uh, Gladiator. He's probably one of my oldest in the um, the Warriors figures collection set I have. Uh, the one on the right is pretty much Brad Pitt from Troy, but uh, it's called the Greek General. <clears throat> and then we have the Leonidas Hot Toys at the front there, the seamless body, love that figure. Hulk at the top, still looking for a decent detail to put him into because he's so big. Stan Lee, uh, rest in peace, uh, the 2018, um, a big loss. Hopefully we'll see uh, his cameos in a few more movies that uh, come up, hopefully he's done some recordings and stuff. There with the homecoming Spider-Man team, the uh, what's the homemade version and the tech suit version. Good figures, really good figures. Deadpool and Wolverine. The one on the right at the back is a sideshow comic version. 
die cast Iron Man. And the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Hot Toys. Got them all in there. <laughs> Squeeze them all in. On the very top we have the uh, Chicago Gangster, which is uh, Public Enemy, Johnny Depp. Uh, that's a die cast um, gun too, the machine gun is die cast. Uh, Riddick and the six million dollar man which is called the six million bionic man because of uh, the licensing great figures <clears throat> hot toys again a uh, personal favorite actor of mine even though he's a uh, Having a bit of a bad run at the moment. Johnny Depp. Again, Johnny Depp. And uh, on the left is the Gangs in New York, The Butcher from Ribbons Toys. Daniel Day Lewis. <coughs> I love this Batman, Batman Returns, Michael Caden, love the actor. And we have the sideshow with the, I suppose, the tombstone from, uh, uh, from Beetlejuice. Asmus, again, they've come out with some pretty cool stuff. Uh, the mask is a very, very cool figure. I've been chasing that one for a while, so. Uh, Thank you for re-releasing a better version. And the um, Pet Detective, very cool figure as well. Some NBA stars from Chicago Bulls. Jordan. Pippen. Dennis Rodman and from Storm Collectibles this very very cool Hulk Hogan Hulkamania love it big boy very big boy they have uh, another fire scene uh, exec executive replicas uh, figure this is uh, Betty Page she's a gorgeous pinup of mine I love her I've got a few books of her and yeah Totally think she's uh, the coolest. Uh, do collect um, some Barbies because of the the line they released, and what I mean by the Wizard of Oz. I'm I'm a big fan of uh, Wizard of Oz, so hopefully companies out there who make one six will um will get the licensing for this. Also, also the Adams family. At the back there, and next door, monsters. Uh, thankfully, Sideshow have also done uh, the uh, Planet of the Apes edition, so I've got the whole set uh, still in the box uh, up top. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. General at the back there. Sorry about the reflection. And that's about that's it. My, uh, that's my set as it is for 2019, beginning of 2019, I suppose. Um, once I get those other boxes out and displayed, I will um, give you a quick update. So, thanks for watching. Um, Enjoy 2019 and keep collecting. Test just one out. Catch up.